You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have Air Jordan 7s. These are the Air Jordan 7 in the white and infrared colorway, but before we jump into it, we wanna give a huge shout out to the good folks over at 85 Gallery for letting us get an early look at these right here. And if you're familiar with the channel, you know over here at Shoot Your Shot TV, we love basketball shoes from the 90s, especially Nikes. So the Jordan 7, which originally released in 92, would be no different. Now this Jordan 7 is a retro constructed mostly of synthetic leather for the upper. And for the sock liner, you have this black neoprene material. On the top of the tongue, you have this infrared Air Jordan spell out logo. And you have these flat white laces. You have more of that neoprene tongue with perforated holes, very similar to the tongue on the Jordan 6. To the toe box right here, you have tumbled leather. For the side panel of the shoe, you have this smooth leather overlay on top of the tumbled leather that has perforated holes on the side for breathability. You have more of this constructed leather upper with an infrared Jumpman embroidered on. And taking us to the back of the shoe, you have this nylon pull tab in black connected to the back of the neoprene sock liner. And you have an infrared 23 on this white and black triangle right on the heel cup. For the midsole, you have a two-tone midsole white with hits of infrared. And you also have a little bit of that translucent clear. This houses the air zoom that you can't see. And then for the outsole, you have this circular traction more of that translucent clearness, and you have that infrared and that black and that infrared jump man. Good looking shoe, definitely just taking a colorway from the 1991 infrared and white Jordan 6s. For those of you who might not know, the Jordan 7 originally released back in 1992. Jordan wore these as he completed his first back to back. They beat the Portland Trail Blazers. Jordan 7s came in five original colorways, Raptor, Hair, Bordeaux, Cardinal, and Olympic. And these right here, they look like they fit right in with those color schemes because in my opinion, they do. I've never had the pleasure of owning the infrared white sixes. I do have the black and infrared. I did have the white and varsity red, but I always wanted to own the white infrared with the Nike Air on the back. I think the last time we got a release was maybe 2013 or 2012 and they had a Jumpman and the infrared was there, but it was a little too bright. But I feel like this is the right shade of infrared. And and I love it on the 7. The 7 is a little bit lighter than the Air Jordan 6, in my opinion. I feel like it has part to do with all the neoprene. They have a plastic tongue or a rubberized tongue on the 6, but the neoprene on the 7 makes it a lot lighter. I'm not mad at this colorway. Over here, we kind of stray away from non-OG colors, but like I mentioned, this looks like something that would have came out in 1992. Like Jordan could have been walking around Barcelona in a pair of these before he went on to win a gold medal. So these are right up there as far as like a really good color. I love the idea of them taking something that worked on the number six and then throwing it on the seven. Wouldn't mind seeing this on the eight or even like a Bordeaux eight, that'd be sick. Or a black infrared eight. Hey, Jordan brand, make it happen. They were designed by Tinker Hatfield, if you didn't know. It's one of my favorite silhouettes. If you watched our Jordan 37 video, I talked about how much I love the Jordan seven and how I love the inspiration from the Jordan seven and how they intertwined it on the 37. These are set to release on June 30th at a price point of $200. That's pretty much the going rate for Jordan Retros nowadays, but I feel like people might not gravitate towards it because it isn't an original colorway, but I feel like it's a great shoe for the summer. It's just the right color blocking. Makes me want the Jordan 6 white infrared really bad. So hopefully we get a retro of those in the near future, a reimagined pair with the right height for the tongue. As far as comfort goes, the Jordan 7 is one of the most lightest Jordans as far as the retros go. And I really feel the comfort is there, similar to a Flight Hirachi. And it's just a lightweight, easy to put on shoe style. Love the silhouette. I love the cut of the Jordan 7. It's not too bulky. It's just the right amount of narrow, sleek design, intuitive, innovative, something that Tinker just cooked up in his brain, threw it on paper, threw it to the factories, it got it made. Jordan did amazing things in them. Love the silhouette, love the style. I wanna be like Mike, still, 30 years later. As far as sizing goes, definitely go true to size in a Jordan 7. Nine and a half, my size, can't go wrong. But how do you guys feel about the white infrared Jordan 7? Personally, like I mentioned, I like the color blocking, but is it something that you guys would get behind? Or do you prefer just original colorways on your Jordan 7s? Let us know, we'd love to hear from you guys. Let's go ahead and see how these look on foot. Uh -huh. 
a C rock type beat for real. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a chill guy to get along with, get on a song with. Trying to bubble up like the water in the bong rips. The heart and soul of the team on some Draymond shit. Strong shit, get game crazy, that Faye long shit. Back in some newest sneakers, you know who the leaders. I might pull up in the two seater, bump and do a leaper. Send me five bands and I probably do your feature. Whoever hating on me, probably watching for the bleachers. Trying to pop up in the visa, take a yacht off the marina. You bring a deal to me, don't you ever try to please us. I overanalyze shit, read the fine print, and I improvise when I do some things I haven't tried. Yeah, I'm lit, no heat check Really I'm him, grinding till the night shift Turn to the night swims, catch a vibe quick On these C-Rock beats And when I get on, then the whole squad gon' eat Hey yo, hey yo, we back for show Got the green light now, yeah that's a go If you enjoyed this review, make sure you check out all our other Jordan reviews right here. There's a bunch for you guys to go binge watch. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Hit that like button and stay tuned for the next episodes.